Experiment number 30. Experimental determination of the effect of acid concentration on the reaction rate of the reaction between magnesium and acids. The aims of this experiment are to investigate the effect of the concentration of reactants on the rate of a reaction and to determine the order of the reaction between magnesium and HCl acid by measuring the volume of hydrogen gas evolved. The rate law or the rate expression can represent the direct relationship between the rate of the reaction and the concentrations of the reactants. Here, for example, consider the reaction between A and B. The rate expression for this reaction can be written as rate is directly proportional to the concentration of A into the power N times concentration of B into the power M or rate is equal to the constant time concentration of A into the power N times concentration of B into the power M. N and M are called the order with respect to reactants A and B respectively. This experiment is designed to estimate the order of reaction with respect to HCl. Here, magnesium reacts with HCl to form magnesium chloride and hydrogen gas. The rate equation for this reaction can be written as Rate is equal constant time magnesium concentrations into the power N times HCl concentration into the power M. Here magnesium is a constant as it is in the solid phase. Therefore the rate can be written as rate is directly proportional to the HCl concentrations into the power M. As hydrogen gas evolves, the kinetic of the reaction can be followed by measuring the time taken to produce a constant volume of hydrogen gas by changing the concentration of HCl solution. As before, the rate expression can be written as rate is directly proportional to the HCl concentration into the power M. As we measure the time to collect a volume of hydrogen, we can rewrite this rate expression as rate is directly proportional to the volume of hydrogen over time into the power m. As the volume of hydrogen is a constant, we can rewrite this rate expression as rate is directly proportional to the 1 over t into power m. The chemicals required for this experiment are magnesium strips, HCl solutions of 1.0, 0 0.8, 0 0.6, 0 0.4 and 0 0.2 moles per cubic decimeter. The laboratory equipment required for this experiment are a stopwatch and measuring cylinder. Next, let's see how this experiment is performed. We have made the setup for this experiment using a conical flask, a rubber tube, 2 ml beaker and a measuring cylinder. In this experiment, we change the HCl concentration and measure the time it takes for a constant volume of hydrogen gas to collect. 20 ml mark of this measuring cylinder is used to measure the constant volume of hydrogen gas. First, add 1.0 moles per cubic decimeter HCl solution to the flask. Next, place a piece of magnesium strip into the flux, close the lid and switch on the stopwatch.
Now measure the time it takes for a constant volume of hydrogen gas to collect. Next, we will measure the time it takes for a fixed volume of hydrogen gas to collect using 0.8 moles per cubic decimeter HCl solution. Now measure the time it takes for hydrogen gas to collect. Next, follow same steps to other HCl concentrations. The results of this experiment are given in this table. Here, two methods can be used to determine the order with respect to the HCl. First method is the calculation method. You can calculate the order with respect to HCl as shown here. The answer indicates that the order of the reaction with respect to the HCl is 2. Second method is graphical method. We draw the graph of red versus HCl concentration using these data. We can obtain a graph like this when we draw red versus HCl concentration. This is the y equal mx square type graph. By comparing graph obtained with the graphs shown here, it can be concluded that order of the reaction with respect to HCl is neither 0 or 1 which suggests that it's two. By the calculation and graphical method, this reaction is a second order reaction with respect to HCl. That means M is equal to two. And it can be concluded that as the concentration of a reaction increases, rate of the reaction also increases.